For two months of the year, mastic trees in southern Chios look as if they're crying. We call them mastic tears because they look like teardrops falling from a tree. From August to September, farmers make small cuts in the tree's trunks and branches to release the sticky fluid. It takes about two weeks for the mastic tears to dry and drop off the tree, and the older the plant, the more resin it produces. In 10 years, you can collect a decent amount of mastic. The tree will live and produce mastic from between 70 and 100 years. Mastic resin is used to flavour food and drinks. It can be distilled into liquor, used in anti-aging cosmetics or included in drugs to help digestion. Farmers have tried to cultivate the trees in other parts of the world, but no other region has been able to reproduce the taste and smell of Chios Mastic. It's because we have a microclimate. We do not usually get a lot of rain here. For example, you can see clouds passing by, and although it might be raining all around, it won't rain in the south. Back in the 1800s, when Chios was under Ottoman rule, the mastic resin was so valuable, it was worth its weight in gold. And the punishment for stealing it was execution by order of the Sultan. Today, one kilogram of mastic is worth $150. And Hios exporters can't keep up with global demand. The domestic and international mastic industry is now worth between 34 to 45 million dollars a year. Locals say the smell and taste of Hios mastic is almost impossible to describe. And that's what makes it such a treasure. Melinda Nusifora, TRT World, Hios.